Hey, so I'm making a short video um, showing you how Mach 3 works as it pertains to the lathe. Um, so I'm going to show you how to touch off tool, run a program, proving out a new program, I'm just making one prototype part. Yeah, so here goes. Um, first I'm going to go to manual mode, I'm going to turn my spindle on, and I'm going to slowly jog the tool over just to touch the face of the part. We've got to touch Z off. Um, X is already set. It doesn't change, right? The center of the spindle, ever. So I'd say that's good. Now I'm just gonna go up here and enter zero. It's kind of hard to see. There you go, and that's it. So now I will jog the tool away. Stop spindle. Now I'm going to go to my program. So I already wrote a little program. It's just going to take 40 thou cuts and rough this 3 inch diameter down to 1 inch, uh, except for 100 thou. I want like a big uh, washer essentially to be a part of this. So um, I'm going to set my spindle speed to 1600. And uh, I think I'll actually go ahead and edit my feed rate here from 4 to 2. Um, yeah, Mach 3 is super easy to edit on the fly. So yeah, this is ready to go. Uh, let's run it see what happens. I don't really know yet. <laughs> this is tight. Everything's good. Lots of chips. Excellent. Um, so we can talk about the Mach 3 control panel while this is running. This is pretty loud and I'm going to have to pull chips off as I go, I think. But, uh... Yeah, so up here you got a whole bunch of buttons. You got cycle start on the left, feed hold. Um, feed hold stops the feed but leaves the spindle going. Next you have the spindle button. Um, if you're in feed hold, you can hit spindle, turn it off, measure your part, turn the spindle back on, hit cycle start, keep going. Um, you've got coolant. I don't have it hooked up on this machine, so that button does nothing for me. You've got stop. It stops your spindle and your feed together. Um, of course, single block, execute one block at a time. Tool adjust is your tool table where you can change the tool data. Rewind the program, edit, and from here. From here is really interesting. You see this program scrolling by. I can scroll to any point in the program and click from here. And it'll say press cycle start for preparation move. And what it does is reads through the program and figures out where is a safe spot to start the tool from. I'm going to pause and pull some chips off. We've got a lot here. <laughs> what a mess. And then anyways, I you hit from here and cycle start and it'll tell you where it's going to go and it'll start from the middle of the program. Uh, it's great if you want to rerun your finished pass or whatever. Moving over here carefully. <laughs> Avoiding the flailing chips. <laughs> uh, I can also hit over and I get some more options. Um, yeah, jogging, various other things. But yeah. Now that I've hit that button over, the programs actually disappear. <laughs> I can't see what I'm running. <laughs> I've never tried that. Honestly, when it's running, I usually just don't touch it. It's a good rule not to click buttons if you don't know what they do while you're running a program. Uh, I'll show you what this part is going to be when it's done uh, while it's running. 
So over here you can see the drive I've made for the x-axis on my manual mill to CNC mill conversion. So what I've got to do is make a bushing which goes from uh, the pulley which I have which has a really big ID to this and it's got to facilitate it's that screw in the back so you can attach it. This is a pulley I've already made. Set screw in the back so you can attach it and a plate so the uh, the darn belt doesn't fall off. Okay. Going pretty good. Yeah. Here's that pulley I was talking about that I'm gonna use. Oh, crazy chips. So yeah, I've gotta go from the huge idea of this to the five eighths of an inch shaft that's on the mill. And then there's this big plate, and on the back side of the plate, I got the stepper motor. Got a lot of big chips. It's aluminum, some aluminum alloy that has copper mixed in for strength. I've never turned it before. I don't really think it's too much different than aluminum. It's just a little bit harder. Maybe a little bit stringier too. Yeah, so we have still quite a few cuts to go. I'm going to just pause it and I'll show you the finished result. Okay, so it's all finished. Um, I went ahead and drilled a hole through it as well. And that's what the part looks like. I will take it out and I'll show you what it's going to look like. It's extremely hot. <laughs> I'm going to pick it up with pliers. So, we've got our bushing, which I'm going to slap onto here. Actually, first I'm going to slap the pulley on. So, take our mad uh, timing belt pulley that I pulled out of a Subaru. Just happened to be cheap. Like two bucks at the scrapyard. There we go. And then take this thing, which is Chernobyl hot, and slide it on there. I really don't want to touch this. Hmm. Yeah, like that. Um, it's got to slide on a little further. It looks like there's a burr. My drill didn't quite go all the way through. Stopped a little too soon. But, yeah, I'll finish drilling that out, and then this will connect up. Thanks for watching.